Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I'm just jumping in and do a really quick uh, video on the uh, energies uh, from March going into June, it seems like. Um, stay tuned. Hey guys, doing a little clip here on the channeling that I got for the energy update here, March into June. Just talked a little bit about it, doesn't go into like a deep topic of it, but just kind of a little um, impromptu what's going on. And <clears throat> now is like a time to start like planting, you know, um, we've already been planting seeds, but to start like kind of garden what you've already planted and manifesting what you're working on um, says march will be filled with love and joy of all the things that you have created planting the seeds of awakening to it awakening to is mean becoming aware of it that what you've planted uh, you're going to be receiving or it's growing you're going to start becoming an acknowledgement into it and if you know anything about evolution and how things are generally created like we can look at it like um, plants and it's the easiest way to um, have that perception about what we're creating, right? And so if you look at, uh, if you were to plant a garden, whether it's um, food or flowers, there's certain times where it becomes planted and it starts to grow and sprout, right? And so, so are the seeds that we're sowing in our own creation. Um, what we're wanting to manifest, what we're working on, whatever it is that we're thinking, believing, things like that. So kind of relative to that, right? And so <clears throat> it says we see it unfolding in the play of source to share in it and we weep to those that haven't. So, so those seeds that have been planted but aren't yet, um, but are kind of just going to go to the wayside uh, until they are ready to be sprouted. Um, the ones that are, they are, right? And so, of course, all creation is including source because everything is source, everything is one, right? And so it's the energy that, that brings uh, it in to life, which is the fruition of it. So cherish the leap forward that we are experiencing, having for the time has come to pass that changes has been, that this change has been presented uh, itself, which is the reason and purpose for the upturn that we have been experiencing in our lives. So basically with saying everything that we've been going through, and um, we've been going through a lot in quite a last past years. Um, so whatever that has brought for you in your own evolution, how you're acting, responding and feeling to it um, has planted seeds for you, whether you know it or not, right? What is it that I'd rather be seeing? What is it I'd rather be feeling or um, experiencing? You know, do I want to continue to um, vote for this person? Do I not want this? Do I want this? And, and everything around us is showing up for a reason. All the upturn is showing up for a reason because it's stuff that's been settled at the bottom um, of the, the ocean, you know, kind of like sand or mud. And it's been kicked around. I've talked about this before stirring it up to bring it up to the top so we can see and start making other choices and, and things like that <clears throat> for the evolution of where we are not only just on an individual level but on a macro level right um, so those are it, uh, there's been a lot of upturn about a lot of things that are going on you know um, the the children you know uh, the school systems this the governments the war a lot of stuff's been kicking up you know um, standing up for your rights, you know, the, the farmers and the COVID, just a lot of stuff have been brought to the forefront, you know, and that has helped a lot of people on not only their individual level of planting these seeds of what they're wanting uh, to evolve and experience and be a part of what they're not wanting to. So it's all plays a part in the role, right? And so that's expansion of itself, right? And so from that, it brings new choices, new experiences, and new consciousness, right? Evolving from the scene of the old, outdated stuff, right? Um, it's when you bring the old into the present moment that you're just recreating it. Instead of planting new seeds, you're just reseeding the seed of the past, right? If that makes sense. 
So we want to plant new seeds, make choices, changes through what we're experiencing and now to make changes of the future. Otherwise, we're just reseeding the seeds of the past, which is why we still have these things that are evolving, right? A lot of people are just re doing the same thing. It's like presidential elections. You're either voting for this one back and forth, back and forth, and you get nowhere, right? And so uh, new stuff is unfolding, which it always is, right? Because we're always planting seeds at different times, because depending on what that is, it's, it's going to evolve from there, right? When, it, when it's ready to start seeding and planting and things like that. So as it's evolving, um, new stuff is unfolding and arriving on time. So don't worry. Everything is going to be all right in this time. We're, we're going to start seeing the light of day about half past the moon, uh, March midway to June. And so the changes that have been made by you in your present life, your current, your individual life, now of the past, it is the seeds that have been planted that is now sprouting, right? So they will finally take shape and form in June bringing them to the forefront for you see the manifestations of them, right? So you're going to, from now to June, you're going to basically say that you're going to start seeing the manifestations of the seeds that have been planted in, in, in the past, right? For whatever has evolved through your life and your experience that have created those thoughts, those thinkings. And if you're not aware of what you're creating, a good thing to do is start practicing presence, right? So we're affected by the outside world, which creates our inner worlds, um, just as our inner world creates the reflective out, outer world. And so it's like this play and, and back and forth, right? So what am I creating within that I'm putting out there and then I can see it and then I can bring it back in and I can recreate it and plant new seeds. And then it's kind of like that. It's like this in and outward and we're in and outward play of life that we have with the universe, that creative consciousness that we're creating from that perspective if that makes sense. So it allows you to make changes and manipulate time and the frame of reference that you're <clears throat> living from, from that point of view, because then it becomes something either new or old, right? You're either recreating the old seeds or you're planting new seeds, right? And so it's like this manipulation and play of life that you're playing along with the game and the experience, right? And so it takes life and form, right? And so, <clears throat> the changes that we have been made by you in your life right now uh, of the past, for it is the seeds that you've planted that is now sprouting in this year, this evolution. And we always kind of limit it to the year, which is a frame of reference because we go by time. So it doesn't really pertain to the seeds that we're planting. It can, uh, because it has no uh, time, linear time, as per, as say, what we experience but what is by divine timing, which is a whole different experience, right? And so that is different play of life. Um, so uh, they will finally take shape and form in June, bringing them to the forefront for you see the manifestations of them. You're going to start seeing uh, what's been planted. It's going to come up. Um, take heed and to be present, patiently waiting this growth and evolution for we're all waiting for the goods to arrive, right? So everybody's manifesting and working on stuff. Even if it's just, you know, getting a job or if it's just um, painting a picture, if it's writing a book, everything has its own divine timing, right? Uh, and I, I understand that because I, I do painting and I write books and, you know, trying to manifest and work on other things as well. So it's all divine timing. Arrival time is on time, divine timing. Um, that's what's showing here. Uh, come what may if you are allowing, right? If you're allowing it. So you do have a purpose and role in play in, in manipulation of the energy. Are you allowing yourself to be in receipt of what you're working on, right? And so taking the steps and being present with that. So off into June, you may see some more stuff that you're not wanting. So pluck those from your garden and start to plant some new seeds. Again, like what I was talking about, the manipulation of energy and vibration that you're manifesting from. Um, so whatever you see that is looking at it from that perspective, you know, what is it that's still here um, that I want to change and what's what's there that I, I want to keep, right? And so that's the play. So uh, pluck them from your garden and start again planting new seeds. So tend your garden. Um, it's the tending of the garden in creation that makes life 
heavenly, right? And what's, it's what you're creating, right? The outside world is just a reflection of what you're working on. And if you look at this as your canvas, the world, right? It, it makes it, puts it in a better perspective. Let the outside world be your canvas, right? And um, that is helpful for me, you know, being a, a, a creative, you know, I can, I can look at it that way. Um, so what is it that I want, what I don't want, and what I don't want, I don't participate in. <laughs> and what I do want, I participate in because it's your attention to the energy of it and the vibration that you're sending to it. Right? And so allowing yourself to manipulate in that way as well. Uh, so stay tuned for more updates coming soon to the flow of energy and evolution in mid-March through June. And um, did pull some cards here. This is uh, March, right? So great time. Now we're kind of waiting, contemplating, looking at certain things, deciding what we want. Um, so the universe is bringing it, and then we're kind of sitting there uh, contemplating, um, looking at certain things. These are things that we, we want. And as, as we're looking at what the universe is bringing us, we can choose you know, what we're wanting. Um, so sitting in, in silence, contemplating, looking at everything that the universe is bringing to us, and um, just allowing it, like it's, it's a cycle. And then whatever we don't want, we can reject because you see his arms are closed there as well. Um, so we can reject what it is that we're not wanting that the universe is bringing, right? And so just being mindful of that, when we reject, we're still adding energy to it. So uh, we want to work on um, changing it instead of um, really rejecting it. So whatever we're want, not wanting, we don't want to add our energy to, right? So we're going to pluck that, right? So that's March, April. Wait, yeah, March, April. This is April. Um, and then this is contemplating. Looking at April, we're going to start seeing things. You've obviously the little fish coming out of the cup. And he's looking at it. I'm seeing what I'm seeing, you know, and the water is flowing, energy, vibration. Um, and... He's able to recognize, you know, the things that has been planted and is coming up in its evolution of it, right? And so that is April, May, the ending, uh, ending of cycles, ending of stuff um, that uh, we're not wanting, things are dying off. Um, and so when that happens, the new seeds are going to be able to take its place, right, when we're plucking stuff out. Um, so may, you know, looking at it from that perspective, you're going to start seeing some things die off, the new plants are coming up and seeding, and you're going to start seeing those sprouting, and then also pull out the weeds of the old stuff that you're not wanting, that you're still seeing, um, and plant new seeds going forward for the coming year, right? And so that's uh, the uh, few cards that I pulled, uh, and that'll take us up to June. Um, I'll be doing some other updates in the meantime as they're coming in um, to add to that, but that's pretty much just what I've got for now. All right, happy journeys. Tune in, like, share, and subscribe so you can stay updated and in, in tune with the new vibration downloads that are coming in.